Hi everybody, I'm Rachel, this is Ali. Um, just in case you don't know us, and we've got a couple of children, Lottie who's five and Sam who's two and a half, who may or may not interrupt us um, as we do the prayers of intercession now. Um, the response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you that you are good all the time and that you give us so many good things. Thank you for the sunshine and spring flowers, for families celebrating the arrival of new babies and for people recovering from illnesses, including the coronavirus. Thank you that many people have more time to rest at the moment, to enjoy hobbies and spend more time with people they live with. Lord, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Thank you, God, that despite social distancing, we are never alone. Thank you that you are always with us and that nothing can separate us from your love. Please fill us with your amazing peace and help us to focus on the victory of Easter and all the wonderful promises that you have made in the Bible. Lord of life, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, we bring before you now everybody who is struggling and suffering at this unprecedented time. Those who are very afraid, anxious or depressed. People who are especially vulnerable to COVID-19. Or very sick. We cry out to you for the bereaved, homeless, refugees, those suffering abuse behind closed doors. We lift up people who have problems and worries that are not directly related to the virus, that they will not be sidelined or feel unseen and unsupported. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Sovereign of all, we lift up our leaders, our government and policy makers, church leaders, business leaders, and those running family homes. May they turn to you and accept your perfect leadership and wisdom. Please infuse them with the stamina, motivation, and discernment, and the opportunity, humili humility, and courage to rest and shelter under your wing, even in the very eye of the storm. Lord of life, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Thank you so much for the blessing of technology and communication so that we are still able to worship together as one each Sunday. Thank you that we are still able to reach out and show love to others through prayer, phone calls and the internet, and that our church and all we believe in shines as brightly as ever, as a beacon of hope to the world. Lord, inspire and encourage us so that we will always be ready to communicate by whatever means possible the reason for the hope that we have in you. Lord of life, hear our prayer. prayer. 